Valentine's Day 2017, earlier this week, a very important evidence-based clinical guideline for back pain was published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. It said that physicians and patients should treat acute or subacute low back pain with non-drug therapies such as superficial heat, massage, acupuncture, or spinal manipulation like chiropractic or osteopathy. According to the American College of Physicians, Approximately 25% of American adults reported having low back pain lasting at least one day in the past three months. Dr. Nitin Damel, MD, president of the American College of Physicians, is quoted as having said, Physicians should avoid prescribing unnecessary tests and costly, potentially harmful drugs, especially narcotics, for these patients. And he then goes on to say, for the treatment of chronic low back pain, physicians should select therapies that have the fewest harms and costs. This, my friends, is chiropractic, acupuncture, massage, and heat. Further evidence showed that acetaminophen was not effective in improving pain outcomes versus placebo, which means for acute back pain, it's of very little value and no better than a sugar pill. Just in case you're on the fence and need evidence that chiropractic, acupuncture, massage, or heat are the first things that you should try for your back, there it is. Plain and simple. When the Annals of Internal Medicine and the American College of Physicians is recommending spinal manipulation, chiropractic, acupuncture, massage first, this is no longer the alternative. This is the preferred method. This is mainstream. This is the first line of defense. If you'd like a copy of the full statement by the ACP, please follow the link in the description of this video. If you know someone with low back pain, tell them to call us at 207-774-6251. We're committed to helping people live their best life possible, free of pain and full of optimized function. Thank you.